All right, gotta stack all these packages up so I can take my dumbass thumbnail. That's still not even all of them. Good. All right, guys, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in this video. These are all of my online orders from week one up until now. I haven't actually done an unboxing for anything that I've copped this season online. The reason for that is because I've been going to LA or London and I've been copying a lot of the stuff in store. This might be one of the biggest unboxings that I've done on this channel. Now, as you guys know, this stuff is not cheap. That being said, one thing that is extremely helpful with any of these unboxings is of course a sponsorship. Sponsors allow me to keep acquiring goods such as these to unbox on the channel and today we have a sponsor, Dollar Shave Club. I've actually shouted out Dollar Shave Club before. I've worked with them in the past and I've continued to enjoy working with them because they offer such a great service. Where my hair was a little bit longer, which I'm actually trying to grow back out now. I've used their hair gel and other goods besides just their starter kit. Of course, they do have a starter kit that comes with a plethora of goods. Now, I didn't want to just open up the box that they've sent out to other YouTubers. They've obviously sent me a box, but these are the razors that I actually use. Like, I use this razor. It does come with replaceable razor heads as well. As you can see, I only have two more replaceable heads left. The starter kit also comes with this delicious shea butter. I promise you, if you use this on your freaking skin, the ladies will be flocking. It honestly does feel absolutely amazing. I get the same feeling when I'm at the barber and the barber goes to like cut the back of my hair with the little uh, razor. I don't know what it's called, but it's, it's, it's like the same exact stuff. It just smells so good. Speaking of which, I should honestly just shave right now. They also come with these One Wipe Charlies. Now, these One Wipe Charlies are amazing. I'm a little bit biased when it comes to these, and the reason for that is because I used to be in the military, and I've deployed, and I've actually had to take what we call baby wipe showers. If you deploy and you're in the military, you probably know what I'm talking about. But basically, when you're in transit to a deployment location, oftentimes you don't have the luxury of taking a nice quality shower. So, you know, you just gotta baby wipe yourself down and that's going to be your shower for the day. These things are crucial. If you are in the military, you need a One Wipe Charlie. Speaking of military, they actually do have a veteran option as well, but they don't just do that subscription service. If you guys wanna subscribe for that, it starts out at only $5. Use the link down in the description. But even if you guys don't wanna shave, right? If you guys are like me and you really only shave the sides or say you already have a razor that's just not as good as this razor, let's be honest, then of course you can go check out their hair gel and pomade options. I actually bought these myself, by the way. These were not sent to me. They sent the box, but they did not send me these. Work super good, smell super good. Definitely check out Dollar Shave Club. Like I said, I will leave a link to the subscription service down in the description below, but I'll also leave a link to their store so you can go check out some of their other goods and purchase anything. Obviously, if you support the sponsor, if you go cop anything, it does help support the channel. So thank you to everyone that does just that. Now, I'm going to actually go shave the sides. I just realized that it's actually looking horrendous, and then we're gonna crack into this unboxing. Woo, that was absolutely orgasmic. I am one step closer to becoming a ladies man. Now all I need to do is somehow grow like 12 inches so that way I'm no longer a midget, shrink my head, maybe grow my hair a little bit and do something and then maybe someday go outside not wearing sweatpants and a hoodie. But regardless, as you know, <laughs> I'm one step closer. All right, let's crack into this man. I got so many freaking packages and I have been dying to open these. <laughs> Were those sirens from the fire station? Because your boy's about to open some heat, you dig? Okay, that was corny. But anyways, um, as you can see, we are about to crack into this uneven sized uh, box or uneven weighted box. I'm genuinely curious what's in here because honestly, that's weird. Why is there a label inside? Who was going to read that? Oh, a little bag order, baby. First up, we got yet another shoulder bag as if I need any of those. We got a beautiful backpack, once again, as if I need any of those. I think I have like three of those already. And we have yet another bouncy ball. Now, if you guys don't know, I have a lot of bouncy balls. I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway for some of those soon, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, change your life, go follow me on there. As you guys know, we go over all the stickers at the end, so I'll go over every single sticker that I acquired throughout this unboxing, but let's crack into the next package. And we have, what's this? Oh, this is Supreme Marker. Um, I don't know why I smelled it like I could smell it through the casing or whatever. Um, we also have a little Supreme pin. I think this just came with the uh, orders, but it just says gross on it. The Supreme Marker is actually for a friend. I actually had to trade one of those FTP boards and two of the markers for an item that I've been wanting for quite some time. I'll show you guys someday soon. Into the next order. I feel like there's gonna be so much stuff that I completely forgot about. Let's see. Ooh, some teas, baby. Sadly, no bouncy balls, but whatever. It is what it is. Oh, I lied. There is a bouncy ball. Is it weird that I'm getting more excited for like this season's free item than I am with the actual items themselves? Um, these pieces though are pretty sick. I love this bottle cap tea. I already have one of these for my personal collection. And then of course the Life Sucks Gangster Supreme Tea. I've already opened these up so there's no real reason for me opening these out of the bag. Honestly that bottle cap tea is super sick. There's enough stuff in here that this could be a two part series. Next up we have yet another tea. Now I have not opened this tea on the channel so of course you already know we're going to open this. We got a little sticker pack. We got yet another bouncy ball. They are blessing me right now with the bouncy balls. Now it was really hard for me to get a Madonna tea honestly the day of. First of all this was the only tea that I actually did not get from the line because people were just charging like 200, 220 out the store. People would just be paying so stupid prices sometimes right now they're on StockX for I believe like 100 to 150 bucks which is a killer deal by the way but regardless as you can see we got the Supreme 
Madonna tea in, I believe, the terracotta colorway. Basically a fancy-ass word for peach. But yeah, as you can see, Supreme. Justify my love. Oh, how cute. Anyways, I will say, not my favorite, like, kind of photo tee. If you guys don't know, like, Supreme has, like, their photo tees, and they have, like, like kind of photo tees. Like, this and the Shade tee, those are, like, kind of photo tees. Then some examples of some, like, actual photo tees would be, like, the Nasty Nas tee, Kate Moss tee, Gucci tee, etc. I just so happen to have all three of those, baby. Crack it into the next one. Whenever I don't open it right away, I feel like such a bit. Come on, baby. Oh, yes. Ooh, boy. This is a fire piece. This right here is the Virgin Mary blanket. As you can see, I got it in the black color. Seems like a lot of brands that I like were uh, dropping blankets around the exact same time. This is definitely be part of the bed spread. I might even honestly add it to the back of my couch. This thing is freaking huge. Look how big this thing is. Damn, look at this thing. This thing is huge. You also have to understand that I am basically a legal midget. I'm 5'8 when it's sunny outside, 5'7 and 3 quarters. Or I should say 5'8 in my Tinder bio, 5'7 and 3 quarters when I hit the doctor's office. But regardless, this thing is ginormous. It's a legit blanket. Anyways, next up we have, ooh, yet another Gangsta Supreme tee right here. We have yet another sticker pack. I need more of those Madonna stickers, so please bless me. And yes, another bouncy ball. Anyways, on to the next, we have... Oh, I got two Madonna tees, fire! I didn't even know, baby! Woohoo! And another bouncy ball. Oh, oh, yes, another Madonna tee in black. Thank you. I did not know I got two of those. Honestly, week one was super difficult, and the reason for that was because, like, there was so much sight lag. There was a lot of stuff that I wanted to get duplicates of that I couldn't get. However, I wasn't tripping too hard because I was able to go in store. As you guys know, I filmed a video week one because I actually had a slot in line. However, my slot was supposed to be for Thursday, and I didn't even end up getting to go in until Friday. However, by then, there were no Madonna tees left, so I couldn't get any Madonna tees, so when I went online, like, my main focus was Madonna tees. Okay, next up, we have... Boxers? Oh, I remember why I got these. I'm gonna explain why I got these another day. But anyways, yeah, I got some boxers and some more stickers. Come on, dude. Dude, I love the palace packages because I feel like the palace packages, they have like those serrated edges or whatever, however you say that shit. Ooh, I feel a bouncy ball. Damn, we got hella tees. So we got some stickers, we got a bouncy ball, and then we got tees on deck. A bunch of the tees I've already opened, but we have this t-shirt right here. This is the bedroom tee, the guts tee. It's got like all these guts that have like, I don't know, shit like labeled or whatever and then you have the uh still a life tea which I actually took a pretty sick picture with this technically i was actually eating nectarines not peaches and i'm pretty sure these are peaches i feel like i got a lot of older stuff in here i want to crack into some of my newer packages i feel like there should be a couple items in here that are from newer weeks that i haven't shown off yet damn i got hella teas in this one order legit i have so many teas what, which one's this oh this is the mike kelly hiding from india tea i'm gonna have to show you guys a couple of these because i didn't show off quite a few of these on my channel yet here's another bouncy ball damn i got so many bouncy balls so this right here this is the mike kelly long sleeve tea i actually ended up copying kais one of these just because it was his wedding and like at the time I, he basically mentioned that he wanted one and uh, yeah, it's just a long sleeve right here. This was the Mike Kelly collaboration. It's got this little graphic on the front and it has Supreme going down the sleeves. Next up is the Mike Kelly Ah Youth tee. Now this tee I think is pretty sick, honestly. Um, this is one of the tees that I liked more in my opinion. As you can see, you have four little pieces right there, but you also have four pieces on the back. And then on the front, you have that little box logo on the bottom left, I believe. Bottom left, yup. I'm not quite sure which ones I showed off and which ones I didn't, which is why I wanna go over each of them. But you do have the Empire State tee, which is basically the Empire State Building with the little ball set or scrotum droon druith underneath <laughs> and then last but not least was this t-shirt right here this is called the mike kelly hiding from india tea and this t-shirt oh that's <laughs> pretty funny if you look closely you can see a little girl right here saying let's fuck and you see this little midget going into the closet saying, okay, you got a little Supreme little box logo right there. So yeah, basically it's just this old painting, kind of added his own little thing and uh, yeah. Some cool little art, you dig? Next up we have, let's see, what's in here? Ooh, okay, we have yet another bouncy ball. I have so many bouncy balls, I'm kind of curious to see how many I've gotten. I got the natural loose gauge beanie. I love the loose gauge beanies. Oh, these are sick. So, they've dropped these before. This is nothing special to you guys, but just trust me, wait till you see what I do with them. We have the sick ass Supreme Stonewashed, not stonewashed, why did I say that? Just washed black pant. As you can see, you got the little Supreme Star embroidered right there on the back pocket. It's just a really nice wash, and I actually like how these ones fit. They're a little bit stiffer than I normally prefer for my denim, but I just wanted a pair of these because, um, yeah, you, you guys will see why sometime in the near future. All right, so we have like, yeah, we have like five more packages, so we're just gonna finish it off today, boys. We're gonna, this is a big ass package. What is in here? Oh, I remember this piece. I don't remember the name of it though. Did they not give me any stickers? Those whores. They were doing so good with the stickers too. Why you gotta help me like that? Are they in here maybe? Oh, another piece that I got by the way when I ordered this was that stool as well. That should be a part of this unboxing, but I was too impatient. I already unboxed it, so 
Yeah, it, there it is, the stool. Anyways, you have this piece right here. I actually wanted to open this a while ago because I wanted to get like a sick picture in this piece. I think this piece is dope. I like all of this like, I don't know, all this like stripage going on. Ooh, you have that freaking beaver pubic hair lined hood right here. Absolutely delicious. This piece is kind of sick and I like the red one the best. I like the olive ones too, but I've actually worn that exact same style of jacket except without all the supreme little like bondage strap shit going on when I was in the military. All right, so, oh, this hoodie is sick. I forgot about this order. Damn, I have the most fire picture coming in this hoodie. Like I said, if you do not follow me on Instagram, change your life, go follow me. I got the most fire Instagram in the game. But yeah, this hoodie is super dope. These pants are super dope. We got another bouncy ball. This hoodie is so fucking sick. I love this color too. This color is so nice. Look at this yellow with this like little blue on there. Oh, um, oh, this is cool. Like all the bubbles are like almost like a almost like a plastic material. Like it's that is weird. Then I got these pants as well. Finally, I got a Ziploc bag. I love getting the Ziplocs. Um, but anyways, I got these pants. These are probably gonna fit me. Oh, sick. For some reason, I thought they had elastic bottoms, but I think they just had them tied. But yeah, I wanted to get these little uh, cargos. I just thought they were like kind of a cool camo. And I think with the field jacket, it'll be a nice little like camping outfit. Yeah, it looks like these are just manufactured from Mossy Oak and then branded with Supreme. But either way, super sick camo. I definitely f*** with these. I don't like that the cargo pocket is side stitched. I hate that about cargo pockets. That's how my military cargos were. It was so annoying. And then I just cut them so that way it wasn't like a pain in the ass to get into the pocket but regardless these are fire all right down to the last few packages um we're gonna start with this one time to grab the black blade again all right what do we have in here is this another thermos i think this is another thermos damn i already got like three of these yep called it Ooh, and a bouncy ball honestly all the orders with bouncy balls automatically worth it but yeah we got yet another thermos i'll probably keep one of these for my personal collection but the other ones i'll probably sell i honestly have so many thermoses that the last thing i need is yet another thermos but we have two more boxes and i want to kind of try to hurry because i feel like this video is probably already 20 minutes long oh i was tripping because i just saw the sticker pack and then the bouncy ball i was like did i just get just a random package with nothing but a sticker pack and a bouncy ball what is this oh this is the overpriced supreme pencil not pen um yeah well i mean hey it feels nice i guess this thing is tiny i thought it was like a full-size pencil are you fucking joking me this little thing i'm not even gonna feel comfortable writing with this like this thing is so tiny uh, i don't know we'll see either way i mean this was extremely overpriced was like 80 bucks i bought that because i kind of wanted one and i needed to test my um my cards because my cards were giving me some kind of error and last but not least we have what's in here Oh, license plate. Speaking of license plate, I actually need to hit up Kais because he has a gold one for me. As you can see, I actually already have two of these. And then I have one more on the way. I don't know how much everything in this unboxing was, but I'll try to total it all up and put like an estimate somewhere on the screen. I'm genuinely curious how this compares to my other unboxings. But as you guys noticed, I got a lot of bouncy balls. I got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bouncy balls. But if we add that to this bag, which is filled with nothing but bouncy balls. Come back here, thank you. That puts us at about like 114 bouncy balls. Something like that, I don't know. Now, getting into the stickers. Well, it seems like Supreme has finally figured out their sticker situation. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 box logos. For a while, they were only giving out like one sticker per pack and sometimes I wasn't even getting stickers. That was mad irritating. We got four Madonna stickers. We got one, two, three, four, five, five gut stickers. We have two of the uh, Gangsta Supreme stickers, three of the Supreme F you stickers with the little gang signs that they're throwing up, two little bottle cap packs, two Supreme liquid stickers, one white, one black. Then we have this graphic, which I forgot what it was, but it's from um, one of the t-shirts they dropped. Taboo, that's what it was. And then of course, last but not least, the liquid sword sticker, which is just a friendly reminder of one of the tees that I took an L on that I was kind of bummed about. But anyways, how has the season been going for you guys? What have you guys been copying? What have you guys been acquiring? Honestly, there's a lot of stuff in here that's for my personal collection. I feel like the season's shaping up pretty nicely and I have a lot of other stuff coming very soon as well. Skr okay, real quick guys, before we go, I got one more package. So some of this is like some older stuff. I decided to grab 
one of the newer packages to open up for you guys. I have a bunch of other stuff, so if you guys would like to see another Supreme unboxing, make sure you smash that like button down below. Anyways, we are going to crack into this package. And uh, while I'm opening this package, I must give a huge thank you to Dollar Shave Club. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail, but I just want to say, honestly, Dollar Shave Club is one of those companies that I work with and I just genuinely appreciate. A lot of companies that I work with, I feel like it's just... It's just like a business transaction and I hate doing that and honestly, usually I refrain from doing other sponsorships with those companies. When it comes down to a company, like I wanna work with a company that like if they're in my area, they'll hit me up. Or if I'm in their area, I'll hit them up. I think when you work with a company, you should not only mess with the product but also mess with the people and I just gotta say the people from Dollar Shave Club are amazing. You guys already know I like the product and I just gotta say the people that I've like personally dealt with, especially Michelle, just amazing freaking individuals and I just sincerely appreciate them so so much anyways let's see what we got in here so we got oh this was a surprise item and we got a stormy daniel sticker stay tuned for another unboxing i was really curious about this i think i got a large i actually really like this surprise item i think this is one of the better surprise items that they have dropped and as you can see you got the box logo embroidered on the hood right there looking absolutely gorgeous it's also reflective in terms of fit this is a size large so i feel like it's gonna fit me a little big which i'm kind of bummed about actually let me take this hoodie off real quick put this jacket on and uh yeah it's a little bit bigger than i would like I don't know, it's not too bad though, honestly. And since it's kind of like a vintage styled piece, I think it looks pretty sick. Vintage clothes often fit with like baggier sleeves and stuff like that, so I don't know, I don't really mind it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this little uh, surprise item? What do you guys think of Supreme Season thus far? Let me know down in the comments below. I really appreciate all your guys' support. I cannot say thank you enough. Make sure you follow me on Instagram if you do not already. My Instagram is at the star left, T H E S T A R R L I F E. This can be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. For real, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the star life. Peace the fuck out.